Is it when Jamie looked up the um, our YouTube video, our YouTube channel? He's like, and that video was old at that time. He he was cracking up because he thought it was hilarious that you said see you in a minute, and then we never posted <laughs> anything. Yet. Well, hello everybody. It's Billy Wanders again, and I haven't posted in a really long. It's weird because you're looking right at me. Um, my sister is right behind. She's playing Skyrim right now. Um, it's so weird because it's I'm trying to look at the camera, but in fact I'm looking at you. Anyway, it's been a long time since I posted, and mostly what that's due to is what I referenced in the last vlog, my illness and everything, so I don't need to explain that again. But some of it is also just me kind of forgetting about it. Like, I was just talking to somebody on Battle.net, uh, World of Warcraft, um, who asked for my YouTube, and I was just thinking, I actually feel decent enough to do it today. Oh, shout out to you, Heather. Uh, if you're watching and shout out if you're not watching yeah but yeah basically I felt able enough to do it today so I might as well put something up I don't have anything to talk about at all either it was literally the last second thing I was just talking to her and I was like okay I think I can do something at least put something up there Shannon actually her <laughs> She actually recorded a couple gameplay videos um, that we were gonna put up, but oh, I didn't even tell you. I lost the videos. How'd you <laughs> lose them? Those actually didn't transfer. There was like two hours worth of footage, but whatever. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, th okay. if you, that's why it's not up. I forgot to tell you that. I forgive you. Um, um, but I can put up a vlog, I guess. What are you looking at? I'm just making sure the focus is good. Do I still have spaghetti mouth? No, you can. Okay, cool. But that's cool. Oh, check out this figure I just got. <laughs> I've been revi reviving my love for Dragon Ball um, ever since the new show came out, along with um, the games like Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2 and whatnot. But this, I saw it at GameStop. Um, and I was like, oh, it's so awesome, but it's $50. So instead, I went on eBay, and I got a knockoff version, even though this looks amazing for a knockoff version. I got it for 10 bucks from China. Come on, Gohan. There you go. He doesn't want to stay. Um, but yeah, so I haven't really um, vlogged in a long time, and obviously my hair is a little different. I re-stretched my ears. I used to have them stretched back in my sceny phase. Yeah, I went through a lot of phases. The scene phase was the biggest one though. It was fun though. I had really long hair, uh, bleach under my bangs and stuff, and uh, I had, well, I still kind of wear the lip piercing, but I had my stretched ears too, which I just brought back, but it's Ricky! Like it Ricky! <laughs> but yeah, um, oh, something I just recently realized, which would be so cool, and Shannon actually was talking to me about it too. Um, over the, um, holiday season, we acquired a PlayStation VR. Yeah, right over there. And it is awesome. It's so cool. Uh, my dad was able to pick it up really cheap from, uh, his work buddy slash my buddy Marco, again. Thanks, Marco. He also gave me my microphone I use for the <laughs> for the um, the computer. But I noticed because you can record things with the PlayStation. What are you doing? I don't know. You're pointing. Oh, so. oh, because you. Um, <laughs> where was I going? Look at the troll. Where would? I'm a troll. I'm a troll. I'm <laughs> a troll. He's so beautiful. I name him Richard. Hello, Richard. Oh yeah, I finally started playing Fallout the other day, because I never actually played Fallout before. Uh, I was playing a third one. I started the fourth one, actually, but then I wanted to play the third one, even though I don't think they actually connect, other than the fact that it's still a radi uh, radiation Fallout deal, but I don't think the stories intersect. Um, they have sweet rolls in Fallout, also. <laughs> like, when you first make your first character in Fallout 3, some old lady gives you a sweet roll, and then Butch tries to steal it from you, and I'm like, Go soak your head, Butch! I'm not giving you my sweet roll. And then he fights you. But yeah, Bethesda, they make them both. It's, it's, it's... Why are you looking at me? Look at the camera! Because I'm talking to you, too! I want to tell you this! I'm gonna say, uh, I can use this camera to record my movements and my actions, 
and the PlayStation to record the actual gameplay and then just stitch them together because I think that'd be awesome, especially because it's very, fairly new. There's going to be a lot of things coming out for it. Um, I hopefully am going to get uh, Resident Evil 7 when it actually drops in price. I know everybody else is playing it, but not everybody's playing it in VR. And I think that would be awesome because it does have VR for support. Uh, Alright. You should talk about your selling your laptop because anybody who's watching this might be interested. No, you freak. No one's gonna. No, I'm saying somebody. I wants guess you're it, right. Because it might be gamers and they might want a nice gaming laptop. I'll get to that. But yeah, uh, I definitely want to play that in VR, even though it's terrifying. And I don't, with my illness and everything, I have a hard time with my heart. Um, and I can't even watch horror movies hardly anymore. And sometimes I can play a horror game here and there. But any little jump scare, kind of dangerous. But the demo for Resident Evil in the VR headset was just so cool and so realistic, even though I had to stop it. Um, I really want to play that. Even if I have to have Shan play some of it in VR. Play what? Resident Evil 7. I just told you know you, you like that. Yeah, but you, I just told you about how much. That's different! But what I am going to do too, I, that I just decided today, is I, the computer that I play all my games on is actually a laptop. Powerful laptop. I enjoy it a lot. But since I'm unable to work, outside of like eBay, which has been the only thing I've been able to do, um... I'm like afraid if anything were to go wrong with it, it'd be more of an expensive fix. I can usually fix a lot of stuff, but it's harder to fix a laptop than a desktop. And I realized for the amount that I could sell my laptop for, would actually get, I could build a desktop that's even more powerful. And of course that would be reliable because I'd be able to interchange if I need to and fix things if anything goes wrong. But so I'm actually selling my laptop. Um, to fund getting a new desktop, which of course it's not going to be super powerful because I'd be using the money directly from selling this to building one. Um, I guess I'll put my eBay link in the description if anybody's even watching and interested in a really good condition laptop. It's a Lenovo Y50 NVIDIA GTX 860M, 2 gigabytes. I know 2 gigabytes isn't a whole, whole lot, but you can actually pull a ton. I'm very surprised at what it's able to do. It's a very high clock speed, uh, 2.5 gigahertz Intel i7. It actually uh, has hyperthreading, so about 3.5. Anyway, it's really good, but I think it would be smarter for me to sell it and go to a tower. Just a better idea. Even though I love the portability, it has treated me very well. Just. It's a smarter idea for me, personally, I think. But the camera just stopped recording. I don't know why it does that. We have much to learn about this new camera. The light's blinking, so I'm thinking it's going, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Wait. Ye Wait. <laughs> I'm new. Okay, and... You're good. It's been going, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. It's been gone for like 20 seconds Oh, now. fantastic. Um, I just figured I'd touch on health too, since I'm just rambling. This is really nothing but that me just putting something there because I have the capability to do it now. Um, I figured I'd update on health a little, those who watched my last thing. Um, not a whole lot has changed, unfortunately. I stopped taking antibiotics for a while to see if I could deal with a lot of the GI issues that I'm having. And I went to see a naturopathic doctor, and he gave me a bunch of things. Uh, I thought were helping and they do help at least temporarily but they it's just like a very minor temporary thing and it's certainly not enough unfortunately in fact these past few days in particular have been really bad on my stomach and entire torso region but I definitely care and enjoy the concern that people have for what's going on and I can update here and there if things actually change I mean there's a lot going on with it but it's just the same old garbage, horrible feelings back and forth, it's not worth mentioning. But if anything ever looks up, that'd be cool, because it's definitely a uh, crazy, crazy journey, and I keep it bottled up, because, well, there's a lot of personal reasons why I keep it bottled up, but um, in general, it's better to just, you know, let people know, talk about things. Talking about things helps. Isn't that right, Shannon? Uh. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that. Not too much is different. But those are the plans for what's going- Oh, wait! I want to show this too. I'm in my pajamas and I know it looks kind of funny. 
My girlfriend also picked me up this to put in my room, an FYE, which is awesome. It's like made of wood and it's printed on it. It's a beautiful print. Yeah, like seriously, my love for Dragon Ball Z, it's always been my favorite anime ever since I was younger. Um, I have a bunch of figures, games. I have DVDs down there that are probably visible. Um, but it's funny, my love for it started, to, I've always, always enjoyed it throughout my entire life since I was a little kid when I discovered it on Toonami, staying up watching it all the time. It was my favorite thing. But it wasn't until, it didn't, I didn't start revitalizing my enjoyment and start rewatching until um, I saw Battle of Gods and when Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1 came out. Because after that came out and Battle of Gods came out, I thought to myself, oh, the figures that I have might be worth some money now on eBay because people are going to start watching and buying things again. But when I dug them out, I started thinking to myself, these are actually awesome. I love this show. Why am I not watching it? Why am I not playing the stuff as much? So I started delving back into it. I ended up keeping and displaying a lot of the figures. I got a Dragon Ball right here. The four star grandpa's ball. Even on a little purple pillow like in original Dragon Ball. Those who know. Started getting back, like really back into it. And I'm excited for Super and all that jazz. So yeah, just in general, I'm just rambling, talking about a bunch of random stuff, but that's what's going on. Those are some plans I have, especially for VR. And thanks for watching and subscribing and all that jazz. I guess I'll cut it here. I'll see you in a minute. Is that your thing now? I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, you know that. That's my thing. It was from you. Stop!